Well, shortly after the OSU attack, former vice presidential nominee Senator Tim, Tim Kaine was quick to condemn guns, initially tweeting, quote, deeply saddened by the senseless, senseless act of gun violence at Ohio State this morning, praying for the injured and the entire Buckeye community. He later retracted that statement. Then an internet talk show host seemed to make it a race thing, tweeting, quote, so white police officer Alan Harujko, who shot and killed the black Somali stabbing suspect in Ohio, is being paraded as a hero. That's interesting. And an OSU staffer allegedly posted on Facebook asking others to find compassion for the suspect. Dana Lash is the host of Dana on The Blaze TV, and Namiki Konst is the host of the Filter on Sirius XM Progress. Great to see you both. Nice. So, Nomiki, let me Nathan. start with you on, on Tim Kaine. Um, you know, in, in his defense, we've seen so many of these m mass, you know, violence uh, incidents on college campuses and elsewhere, and they, they've involved guns, they've involved many things. But, again, to get out ahead of his skis and call it a senseless act of gun violence when it wasn't, mm -hmm. and to not more forcefully withdraw that and apologize for it, and make clear that he was very wrong. Your thoughts? Senator Kane should have not rushed to judgment, should have waited for the facts to come in, as should have the police that were there who ended up uh, shooting, who we now know is somebody who aligned himself with ISIS. With that all being said, if there were guns at this scene, it would have been much more horrific. And you can see that. Um, wait, wait, wait. Did you say the police needed to exercise well, more self-control? Well, think about this. Okay, so, you know, the FBI trains uh, in situations like this. They want to make sure that the, the, the person, the attacker, is alive so they can question them, especially if there's some sort of terrorist affiliation. But, you know, but not if he's sticking a knife into scene. 11 people. Then well, you just want him dead, right? There's, 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 there's a lot of training behind this. You, you find a way to injure them, harm them, knock them down, so that you can no. still keep them alive to question them. And they do that <laughs> in the military. No. Dana Lash. The CIA. Then, yeah, Dana that's not how the training goes. Yeah, that's Actually not how is. the training goes. No, Namiki, I mean, I haven't too. seen you at any of the classes Wait, that I've run through. I haven't seen Namiki at any of the training seminars that I've gone through, any of the scenarios that I've run. Also, I have to say something I as well. I, I this this in, this insane idea that well, if this guy had a gun, it would have been much worse. Actually, statistically, that's not even true because I could make an, mm. I could spend the rest of your show, which I'm not going to, going through all of the mass shooting incidents that have been stopped by a lawful gun not owner. In fact, I'm going to tweet years. them out immediately after. I'm going to no, I'm going to do a real story? list, Namiki. Namiki, let me talk. You're not going to monologue over me. Dana. You have no idea what you're talking about, Namiki. And the officer, Megan, is a hero. He absolutely is a hero because this guy would have went through a ton more people, had a gun, a good guy with a gun, not shown up and acted. And imagine how quicker this guy could have been dropped by a lawful gun owner if they had been there as well. We've got okay. to stop the gun-free zones, and I'm glad to see Indiana State Legislature taking a step towards this by considering campus carry. Can I respond real quickly? Go ahead, Namiki. Okay, so you yep, look at ahead. a country like Japan where there's 0.6 gun owners per 100 people, and here in America, we have 88.8. Yeah, the highest suicide 8. rate in the world, Let me too. finish. That's a completely on, separate scenario. Go ahead, completely separate scenario where we have 88.8. .8. They have had three mass shootings in the last 15 years. We have one every single day And we day have more defensive gun use we instances also, as well, 2.3 million a year. Hold Mama. on, hold on, Hog. I'm going to give you the last word, Dana. We'll okay, finish so, your point, so, so the bottom line is, you know, we have, in, in areas of this country where there are stronger gun laws, we have fewer mass shootings. That's just a fact the FBI states it. Okay. Also, the CIA no, trains officials. But even when you have the, the gun to laws, question, to question you got the guy with the knife the in the car. But if he's a terrorist, I know to question. Know he should have questioned him. He should have questioned him while he was sticking the knife into people's throats. Well, got he it. Injured him I don't know. If it had been me, I would have been glad the cop showed up. Dane, I'll give you the last word. Amen to that. I'll list the I'll list those mass shooting incidents prevented. But don't forget, remember back in 2013, Obama commissioned a report from the CDC: 2.3 million instances of defensive gun use annually, which far greatly outweighs criminal usage. All right, ladies, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> very Thank feisty. You. Thank you. There's always going to be another one to debate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Megan. That's, I mean, we have to laugh because it's either laugh or cry, you know? I was just talking about this yesterday. We see this all the time now in today's day and age. And today, this, this one appears to be terror, despite the fact that many people don't want to admit that. Uh, and then tomorrow could be something else. Uh, so we pray that it's not the case, but that's sadly what we're watching.